Adele, one of music's best-selling artists of all time, selling 120 million records. Single-handedly dragging the British music industry, kicking and screaming due to the gravity of her success. She's someone so successful, in fact, that you'd always imagine that there'll be some people who will come out of the woodwork and try and get a slice of her success, seeing as though how big she is. And no, that wasn't a pun. I mean, literally, she is a massive artist. This was unfortunately the case for Adele, due to the fact that she was so successful, this even prompted a lawsuit from her ex-boyfriend. The reason why will probably not shock you. Because people do crazy, crazy things. Hello! Welcome to Brain Spill, the laziest show on the internet. My name is Tank, and yes, we are truly scraping the bottom of the barrel to talk about someone like this today, and the reason as to why he decided to sue his ex-partner. But, how did we get here? Adele Laurie Blue Atkins was brought up in Tottenham, a district of London, beginning her singing at age four and growing up singing and learning guitar. She even graduated from the Brit School for Performing Arts and Technology in Croydon in May 2006, where she was even a classmate of Leona Lewis and Jesse J. So that's clearly where all the future stars go to school. Sort of feels like I went to the wrong school now. So clearly my musical career is going to take a little bit longer to get off the ground because of the fact I didn't pick up the know-how from a performing arts school. Her career would go off to a flying start, publishing music and earning various accolades as a new and upcoming artist, commonly being quoted as having the potential of being one of the industry's most respected and inspiring artists of her generation. That quote may or may not be lifted from Billboard magazine, but hey, we can kind of take it with a pinch of salt here. But basically, that was the general consensus. A lot of people liked her music, they liked her voice, and they thought that she was very talented. And I don't think many people can deny that. However, things would get a little bit rocky for her in 2008, where she had to cancel a whole bunch of dates in her US tour for, um, not very good reasons. The reason for this was the fact that she wanted to spend time with her boyfriend. Yeah, you have tour dates and that's, that's the best reason you can come up with. Yeah. Adele would even go on to comment about this in the future, saying the following. I'm like, I can't believe I did that. It seems so ungrateful. I was drinking far too much, and that was kind of the basis of my relationship with this boy. I couldn't bear to be without him, so I was like, well, I'll just cancel my stuff. Yep, toxic relationships 101 people, take note. Despite this, she slowly but surely managed to break her way into the mainstream, and even made an appearance on the UK version of X Factor, which for anyone in the UK watching this video, that is probably the first time you heard of Adele, or the first time that you even saw her as a person. I know for a fact that this was the first time I ever heard of Adele, and I'm sure like many people, were absolutely blown away by how incredible her singing was. Adele would go on to release her first album, 19, which of course, as we all know, did very, very well. Being influenced heavily by her own life experiences, and basically how shit of an ex-boyfriend she had. Much of her music has been inspired from previous bad relationships that she's had, and I think this is something that many people can relate to, hence why the music is so popular. So, for whatever this guy did, it must have been pretty bad. For better, or for worse. Either way, it managed to inspire her to create something which a lot of people really resonated with. This clearly must have just been the general consensus on it, because her ex-boyfriend even thought the same thing. And he was so convinced of this, that he decided to sue Adele for the fact that, well, if it wasn't for him, then she would never be in the position she was in at that time. Basically claiming that, hey, look, love, if I wasn't a terrible boyfriend to you, then uh, you wouldn't have all this money. So uh, why didn't you throw some of that my way, why don't you? Yeah, truly despicable. 
Yes, he thought that he was such an integral part to her journey as a musician that he should be entitled to a cut of her success. Well, <laughs> I don't know what world this guy's living on, but hey, he gave it a shot anyway. So basically, he contacted Adele after they broke up and started asking about the royalties from her music and when he was due to receive some of these for basically being the inspiration behind some of her most popular songs. Despite the fact that she did pretty much all the work. Wrote the songs, sang the songs, something which I'm fairly sure she could have done without her ex-boyfriend, who basically, allegedly, made her life a living hell. But no, of course, he thought that his input into her life and her relationships was an integral part into the journey in becoming a successful musician. So much so, in fact, that he was entitled to these royalties. For about a week, he was calling and was deadly serious about it. Finally, I said, well, you made my life hell. So I lived it and now I deserve it. He really thought he'd had some input into the creative process by being a prick. I'll give him this credit. He made me an adult and put me on the road that I'm traveling. I mean, sure. It might have been a bitter end to the relationship. Sure. If you held on and didn't have the relationship breakdown, you could still have been dating and she may never have been one of music's biggest stars as we know. Sure. You could be a little jealous that she's got all the fame and fortune off the back of dating you. I get it. But at least have some self-respect to not go back and ask for money like that. I mean... Just get a grip, okay? Because, my man, this ain't it. Apparently, Adele was so incensed by the fact that he was effectively harassing her at this point, almost daily trying to contact her to ask for some money, that she basically picked up the call and told him to fuck off down the phone, which I'm sure many of us would have done the same thing. Making it abundantly clear that this ex-boyfriend wasn't going to get a single dime out of her. Despite this, she would go on to then release her second studio album, which propelled her music career to the stars. The second album, 21. This specific album goes into more details about the fact of her broken down relationships, the journey she went on, and really how she matured as a person because of it. Exploring themes of heartbreak, discovery, and moving on. And it would be this album that would top the charts in over 30 countries. So. I mean, bad relationship or not, she's got the goods to sell what people like. So, uh, yeah, I think this ex-boyfriend was a bit of shit out of luck, if you ask me. So, yeah, just to cap it all off, bad relationships, if they end on bad terms, is not a good thing for anyone. Except when they may possibly make you millions upon millions of dollars in the process. It wouldn't be all sunshine and rainbows for Adele, however. Having had a seven-year marriage afterwards, which has ended in divorce, her love life hasn't always been straightforward. Okay, okay, I'm starting to realise that I'm sounding like one of those gossip channels talking about celebrity news. I don't mean to, but all I'm saying is if you've been in a multiple year relationship with someone and had a kid with them, I think someone like that probably has a little bit more entitlement to some money or support rather than... Uh, well, the ex-boyfriend who wanted some before. So, you know, that's uh, just one way to look at it. And who knows, at the very end of this, it will probably just inspire a whole new album, which, uh, it's funny because I'm pretty sure at the time of recording this, there's a new album coming soon. So, maybe this video will be released around about the same time. You just never know. If you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe. If you want to be notified as soon as I upload my next video, be sure to hit the bell button. And if you've got any ideas for what topics you'd like me to discuss next, let me know down in the comments below. As always, sources used in the video will be in the description. They do say that any good musician will normally rely on their own life experiences to help make great music. The same is no different for Adele. So all that means is that when I kick my career off, it's going to be one hell of a bang. Wink, wink. I'll see you guys in the next video. Fantastic.